Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to Back to the Future. Oh my gosh, alright. I know it's been a while guys. I uh, School started like last week and I've been busy with a bunch of stuff. And then I worked this weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. So uh, that's why a video, uh, I recorded this on Saturday. It's probably Sunday because I don't think I'm going to get one of these out tonight. Because uh, it's already too late uh, in, the, in the day. So yeah. Uh, but I'm going to record a bunch of these, so we're going to get into the uh, second chapter here. Uh, yes, show goals. I think that's what we picked last time. All right, here we go. See, so, yeah, I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded in like three days, uh, or maybe maybe it's two, two or three. Uh, but yeah, once I get a, uh, these Back to the Futures recorded, though, I have a bunch of uh, Legend of Zelda's and Terraria videos recorded, so yeah, that should get... Um, it should get a couple more videos out after that. So, yeah, look forward to those. Alright, it's Saturday, June 13th, 1931. And, yes. Episode 2, Get Tannin. Oh, that's right, I'm disappearing. I forgot, guys. That's right, I started, like, fading away. And we're gonna run into ourselves at some point. Oh, this is gonna get, this is gonna get s scary or something. I don't know. All right, I'm excited, man. Oh, wait, is this me? Oh, that's me. What's happening? I don't know. Unless uh, tomorrow's newspaper. Do you still have it? Yeah. Local accountant beaten, left for dead. Local accountant Arthur McFly was severely beaten and left for dead on the steps of the Hill Valley Courthouse last night. They're gonna kill my grandpa? Tannen's goons, no doubt. Probably in retaliation for Arthur answering that subpoena you delivered. What are we gonna do? I'm not sure what we can do. According to this, your grandfather was dumped on the doorsteps of the courthouse five minutes ago. My dad's picture is disappearing. That's the time stream catching up with your grandfather's fatal wounds. Which means your father will never be born, and neither will you, unless... Let's go! Oh yeah! When did you last see your grandfather? Four o'clock, in the town square. Let's give him enough time to make his deposition. Right. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. That shouldn't be a problem in your case. I mean, you were in jail. All right, let's get moving before the police find us. Freeze! Ah. Step out of the car with your hands up. Oh no, what do we do? Oh, what the heck? He hasn't spotted me yet. All right, I don't... What was what? Crap! I heard something back there. I think you're mistaken, officer. Oh boy. Well, looks like I caught me a fugitive. Carl Sagan, the, the rear speakeasy bumper. arsonist. A legend speakeasy arsonist, if you don't mind. Aha. Uh -huh. What the heck kind of buggy is that? Stay back. Rear bumper. I can't the let the here. Still untested. Liable to blow up at any moment. All right. I don't know if the volume's hey, correct. Boss, Hopefully it's correct. If it's not, I'll fix it or something. That's so. There it is again. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. All right. We just gotta keep circling them around. I think. That yeah. That should be what to do. What is it? Some kind of foreign job? A German or something? Not at all. Driver's side, okay. This is solid American workmanship. Now I'm sure something's back there. Looks like all something right. out of right, rear bumpers. A year from now, everybody will be driving these babies. Is he gonna notice? No, he didn't notice! He's just like walking around with the gun. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a promotion in this. You're getting to be a valuable commodity huh. in Hill Valley. Well, that's very gratifying to hear. I hope you don't mind cooling off a few minutes till reinforcements get here. I don't mind, but 
Let's our passenger side. Let's do it. I think Doc should be able to jump in. I, oh, Doc yeah. better come with me. What? Crap! I heard something back there. Mm -hmm. I think you're mistaken, officer. I'd like to get a closer look at that getaway car. What's that? Getaway car. Oh, those bushes. Huh? I didn't hear anything. I thought it was my henchman returning, but you're probably right. It was nothing. Henchman, you say? Hmm. There it is again. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. All right. I feel. I feel like. I, yeah. We gotta wait for. Okay. This is what we gotta do. What was that? I didn't then get hear the driver's anything. side. All right. Here we go. Hmm. All right. Driver's seat. Get in. Here we go. Here we go. And the doc should be able to jump in. Stop. Dad, no. Save your grandfather. I'll be fine until you get back. You got it, Doc. No, Doc, you gotta come with me, man. Oh no! All right, we gotta go save our grandpa. Let's do it. What was that? That's right, buddy, old pal. I'm in the time machine. All right. So we're going back uh, like a day before or something. I don't know. Okay, where the 455? Artie's got to be in there somewhere, spilling his guts to the DA. There he is. All I got to do is get to him before. Mr. Corleone. Uh -oh. I was wondering if I could do a little follow-up interview with you about the plight of poor Mr. Sagan. My sources indicate that Judge Brown will be setting him free tomorrow. I wouldn't bet on that. What's that? Nothing. Listen, can we talk later? I've really got to get to the courthouse right now. Really? Why? My grandpa's being sued. My grandpa's uh, being sued for uh, alimony by his niece. It's, uh, it's complicated. Oh, well then. Carry on. And do put that vicious dog of yours on a leash, will you? We have laws about that sort of thing, you know. Sure, no problem. Ah! Crap, there I am. Ah. Oh, come on, yesterday, Marty. Stop talking. Get moving. Einstein? Einstein, what is it, boy? Stay. Stay, boy. Crap. Crap. Ah, that's what he said. I knew it. Well, <laughs> Shoot. Is it a squirrel liney? Oh my gosh, get past the obstacles and into the courthouse. Let's see, oh the Look, stick. Liney. Let's get the stick. You wanna play? Okay, let's play. Throw it, throw it. Throw it. Throw it, come on. There we go. Go get it, boy. Where are you going, boy? Crap! You're killing me, Heine. Look at now, he's back there. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. Is it a squirrel, Liney? Uh, let's see. Where, where can we throw this? Shh. Shh. Oh, Edna, yes. Go get her, Liney. You. Oh, get this mangy animal away from me. Come on, Einstein. Get away from the nice lady. My shoes. Einstein, no. Oh God! Oh, no, now to get into that courthouse and grab Artie before Tannen's guys. Ah! Uh, uh. Oh no! Uh oh! Oh no! Seize him! We gotta go! We gotta go! Hey! Oh God! Um, hey! 
According to my calculations, the rotary engine for a full-scale rocket drill requires 1.21 kilowatts of power. Can you check over my work to make sure? Are you alright? Yeah. Yeah. But I need to get to Arthur. Why? Uh... He needs help. He might be headed for an accident. Arthur McFly may not be the most coordinated fellow around, but I'm sure he can walk up a flight of stairs. Come on, shouldn't we be getting on with our work? We're on a strict deadline, right? Crap. Start without me. Sure, you start without me. Turn around and start walking and I'll... I'll catch up to you in just a few minutes. Huh? Oh, hell. Oh my god, what the hell is that? What's what? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. No, I mean before, while I was walking towards you. I wasn't talking to anyone. I was working on equations for my rocket drill. No, I mean after. Uh, never mind. Let's get going. Follow me. Oh, okay, he's gone. Woo! I thought I'd never leave. At least now I have a clear shot to the courthouse. All right. Man, this is still... Okay, here we go, here we go. Courthouse doors. Let's do it, let's do it. No, he left! Oh, God! Are we gonna... You gotta come with me. Look, you're in a lot of danger. What do you mean I'm in danger? No time to explain, Grand... No, Artie. Just promise me you'll stay at the police station until... Artie McFly. Just the guy we're looking for. Hey, fellas. Run! Get him! Oh, what the heck? Q-Ball! I thought we were friends, Q! Uh, I better pick up their trail before I start fading out again. Aha! I see your dirty tricks. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Oh, baby, oh, baby, here we go. Look at the music. It's picking up, man. It's like... Who is that girl? She is new. Are we going to be using her for something? I don't know. Looks clear. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. The boss, eh? I think I might just take a little part in this visit. Oh, man. Things are getting saucy. Trixie Trotter. Buddy, how's my favorite accountant doing? Oh, I've been better. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, McFly. Trixie, take a powder, doll. We got business to discuss. K.O., you boys play nice now. Mwah. Nice to see you again, Artie. You too, Miss Trotter. Yeah, yeah, we're all happy as clams. Now scram. <sighs> All right. Are you guys stupid? What are you thinking? Bringing this fish food to my doorstep. We just thought that was your first mistake. Thinking. Look at me. Do you ever catch me thinking? Huh? Uh... Don't answer that. Look, just drag him inside, find out what he told the DA, then get rid of him. I think we can handle that. Good. Now, if you don't Shoot. mind, I've got an arsonist to snuff out. And will one of you slobs start hauling these crates in? We're on it, kid. I can't believe he didn't see me. He just walked, like, walked right by. So far, so good. Huh. Oh my gosh. I better get in there quick. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Into the door. What do you want? Kids, uh, kids sent me. Kids sent me to talk to Artie. No, he didn't. Scram. So much for the direct approach. All right, let's try this again. You again? I said scram. I really don't think I'm getting in that way. Oh, I see. Okay. Let's see. There's some crates here. Can we climb up like up the window? Or what is it? What's this? 
Wait. What is it, huh? Hmm. No, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Alright. See something. Oh, there's a ladder here. There's a. Uh, or maybe. Let's see, there's nothing that we can do there. Not a, oh, medium crate. What is this? Contents. One wing goddess. Oops. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh. They're gonna be looking for that. Oh, I see. We're gonna hide in here and they're gonna come out and get this. Hmm. Nice fit. Here goes nothing. Get the crates, cue ball. Stir the soup, cue ball. Clean out the blood stains, cue ball. Shit. <laughs> I'm not a gangster, I'm a freaking butler. Now which one of you guys goes in first? Jeez, for a gal with no arms, you sure is heavy! Whoops. <laughs> 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 Ow! Do you mind? I'm trying to conduct a professional interrogation over here. Where should I put this? Just shove it behind the bar. I'll just shove you behind the bar. Mm. Where? He sure got me in there. Oh, oh God! Oh my God! Jeez, Jeez How much that was brutal. Did you put on that rag anyway? What? Because I'm having a hard time bringing Sleeping Beauty here around. Uh, uh, Let me see. Uh, Aha! I gotta use that to. Marty! We got a few questions about you and the DA. DA, <laughs> D, D, E, D. You see what I'm working with here? Seems to be catching. Say, wake up. Oh, sorry, boss. This stupid cold got me wiped out. <laughs> well, try to stay awake long enough to finish that poster, will ya? We got a club to open in a few days. And turn off that sign, would ya? Hell, kid. Okay, so something we gotta do with the sign. We gotta use the chloroform. Wake up, sleepyhead. Look at the way he walks. Alright, dispatch the goons. Okay, um. Ink bottle. I can't take that. Zane would know something's up. Okay, chloroform. <sighs> No wonder Artie's so out of it. Alright, so we have this in our inventory right now, right? Yes, we do. Can we... I'll get caught for sure if I try that again. Hmm, okay, um... Let's see... Sign switch. Let's try and turn this on. <laughs> I'll never get to that switch. Wait, what is this? In my oh, wait, what is this? <sighs> Think there's a way we could get Rip Van Winkle oh, wait, what's talking this? in Panic his sleep? Hey! Hey! What was that? There must be some <gasps> wiring problems with the emergency button. Oh no! Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. Boom, boom. Oh god. Did it work? Oh. You're trying my patience, Audi. <laughs> Still can bottles. Pick this up. McDermott's Canadian whiskey. Okay, let's try, um, I guess the bottle on Zane. Yeah, too risky. Uh, I'd have to stand up to reach him, and the others would see me for sure. Okay, let's try the bottle. Nah. This is gonna be the swellest speakeasy in Hill. I don't think so. Okay, oh, let's not use it. Let's try and not use it. 
but let's look over the counter. Okay. Um. Maybe let's try. Oh wait, what? Can we not? Wait a minute. Can we not? No. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Bottle. Let's try and. He's too far away. Mm. I figure we put kids' wall of fame gallery up over the bar. That ought to give the. Wow, not bad. Okay, ah, uh, Zane. Ah, oh, wait a minute. What if we do uh, this and this? Oh, hey guys, I don't feel so. Aha! We did it, yes! Wake up, you lazy bum! Must have been the cold. Cold my eye. He's been dipping into the inventory. The inventory? One more on down, two to go. I hope All the right. sisters of mercy so... approve of our redecorating. <laughs> now we could probably. Is that ink bottle still up there? No. Uh, let's try and do the science, which we can probably do that now. Ow. Nye, nye. What the? I think we blew a fuse. Well, go up to the soup kitchen and get a new one. Why me? You'd rather hang around and talk to this guy, huh? Three days are here again. Yeah, I'll just get that fuse. All right, he's going upstairs. We can we follow him? Come on, Artie, wake up. He bottles. You're sleeping oh, your wait. life away. Wait, hold on a sec. Let's go over the counter. Literally. Oh no, we can look around. Okay. And then, can we... He's too far away. Dang, that's what I thought. Dang it. What is this? Oh, wait a minute. No, no. Panic button. He's going to come over here. I see. And then, now let's take the bottle and do a little of this. Wham! Right in the kisser. <laughs> Oh, yes. Uh, uh, hey, you. Wait, All right, we got him. You? Not for about 40 years. Is Whoa. anyone down there? Everything's spinning. Come on, Artie. Let's get out of here before these jerks get a chance to kill you. Wait a minute. They were going to kill me? <sighs> Great. This isn't funny, guys. All right, cool, cool. So we got away. Perfect timing. Hang on, Grandpa. We've got a pickup to make. He's like, what the heck? I thought you'd never ask. What's he doing here? It's a long story. <laughs> it's a long story. All right, cool. Son of a... And then I carried Artie to the DeLorean. He came back to get you. That's it. So we can go home now, right? Not yet. We still have this loose end to tie up. No, don't tie me up again. He's coming <laughs> around. All right, just start pulling over. You won't be safe in Hill Valley as long as Kit Tannen remains at large. Don't worry, I'm going far away from Hill Valley, and I'm never coming back. No! He's got to hook up with Grandma. What's her name? Uh, it's Sylvia. You know a woman named Sylvia? No. Well, she knows you. We'll know you. It's vitally important that you two meet. Oh, I get it. You want me to be part of some undercover sting operation. No, possibly. Yeah. Are you G-Man? 
Uh -huh. Something like that. Sure, anything for Uncle Sam. I'll stay nearby and wait for this Sylvia. But in the meantime, I'll lay low. Good man. When can I expect to see you? That was a close call. I think you'll be okay. You're not fading out, are you? Besides, Arthur will be completely out of danger come August 25th. August 25th? That's the date Kit Tannen is finally put behind bars. How's that picture of your dad? Still there. Good. Let's get out of here before we accidentally elect Hoover to a second term. <laughs> All right, we're going to guess her. Something gonna happen again. I don't know. All right, it's loading. Okay, we're back. It looks like we're back home. Wow, we're back home. Well, everything looks okay. Are you sure? See, McFly residence. So, want to come in? Maybe hang out a while? I want my dad to see for himself that you're still around. I'd love to, Marty, but... You've got to go. I understand, Doc. You've got a life to lead. Kids to raise and all that. No, I've got to go to the bank and stop that estate sale you told me about. Oh. Oh! You go find your pop. I'll be back within the hour. See you soon, Doc. All right. All right. Well, it looks like we rescued Arthur, but that's going to have to be it for today, though. So hope you guys enjoyed. But until next episode, guys, have a great day, and I will see you in the next episode. Later, guys.